Hey guys, I want to share with you guys another really cool tool for school, and this one is called Cool Text. So you can go ahead and go to cooltext.com. Cool Text allows you to create some really cool like fonts and like logo headings and things like that. So let's do one together. So on our home screen, you start off and you'll see all these different types of uh, font options. It doesn't really matter which one you start off with. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off this one called Keen. Go ahead and click that. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you are going to put in um, whatever you want into the logo text. So I'm just going to put in digital literacy. You'll see now we can see what that font will look like with my particular wording there. Now you can also um, change the font and change the text size. So right below the text box here where it says font, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And there's all these different categories. There are literally hundreds of different fonts you can choose from. So let's just pick a genre and we'll try and find one that we like. Uh, I'm going to try games. And so I look through here and I can select um, a font that I might think will look good. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one called Game Cuban. And so now I have created that font. Now I don't really like that one, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to click on font again. And I can go to another uh, area here. I can go to famous. A lot of these are kind of like brand name type fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and find one um, that I like here. And let's try this one. So I have kind of like this bubble font here that I can use. Um, I'm just going to work with this one. And so what I can do now is I can adjust the text size. And you can see it will automatically adjust it for you up in your window here. Now once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go to the next one where it says logo. You can check the gradient box um, and you can actually use uh, these different types of kind of preset gradients. Or what you can do, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I can kind of create my own here if I want to do a gradient. Uh, you'll also notice that you have the hexadecimal codes here, so you can put in whatever custom color. So if you know of a particular color that you want to use, um, you can just simply type in its code. So I'm going to go ahead and look for uh, some colors that I want. And try and find a nice blue. And I think I'm going to find a nice yellow to go with it. Bring that down. And I kind of like that. So now once I've done that, I can also go to where it says outline color and I can actually change the color of my outline. And I'll outline it in blue and see what that looks like. I'm not sure if I like that. I can do it in white, but it might be a little bit hard to see on this. I'm going to leave it with the white for right now. I can also adjust the width of the outline so I can bump that up a point at a time. It's, again, it's kind of difficult to see right now until we get it onto um, a different background. So I can also go to where it says shadow um, and there are different types of shadow types you can use. Right now it's set at no shadow um, and you can turn on the shadow. And you can kind of see it lightly shows up there but if I turn these X and Y's up you can kind of see what that will do to my shadow to kind of give it some depth. You can also change the shadow color but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at black um, I'm not going to worry too much about the image right now. And if we wanted to add some kind of logo, that would be a place to do it here. But what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go back to image. And I'm going to click on create logo. But we want to make sure that you have PNG with transparency selected. I'm going to go ahead and create logo. And that's going to put it into this image right here. So what I want to do at this point is just go ahead and click on download. And if you're using Google Drive, it should go into your Downloads folder. Since I'm on a PC, um, I'm going to show it in my folder here. And I'm going to give it a name real quick. And I'm going to put it somewhere where I can more easily find it. And I'm going to put that in my pictures. Now, if I have a Google Doc, what I can do 
in a Google Doc, I can choose an image to upload. And I'll go to my pictures. I'm going to go ahead and find the image that we just put. Here's my Digilet logo. And open that up. And there it is. And now I can move it around. Ooh, wrap text. I can move this around and I can adjust the size of it accordingly. And now you have kind of your own custom font and text. So I hope this was useful. Um, again, cooltext.com, one of my very favorite like cool tools for school. Thanks, guys.